the nice thing about having a big powerful tiller and I've got a video on this I'll go ahead and link up in the information box on the top right of the video screen um, in about less than 30 minutes I did this whole garden now this initial time was just to loosen up the soil where it this side over here had been rained on a few times that side over there was still pretty fresh but I wanted to get it loosened up to make it easier to rake out and try to level now I actually used and you'll never be able to tell it <laughs> um, I actually used the tiller to help level it out somewhat there are still because this is basically a terrace garden so this is flat here then there's like a hill then this is flat then there's a hill then this is flat then there's a hill then this is flat all the way down through here so i did use the tiller to level this out some but now is going to be the hard part really a two-person job but there's only me so what i have to do and you can kind of see actually looking at this picture how this garden slopes from that corner up where the tiller's at to the left but it also slopes from the corner where the tiller's at down also now sadly that way is east and then if i turn 180 degrees that's west so it kind of slopes to the uh, southwest not not exactly ideal for a garden which you would kind of hope sloped more to the south but in raised beds most crops do good here and part of that reason is because even though the sun rises over here in the east if i point this camera up right now you are going to see the sun now it is noon and you are going to see the sun right there so it's literally right straight overhead of the garden and it's overhead of the garden most of the day believe it or not until about uh, 7 p.m and it starts to set in behind them trees and as it gets lower in the sky it gets shady over here but for the most part it's in full sun anyways just wanted to update you i'm gonna have to rake this out now the reason why i'm doing this now i wasn't planning on doing this for a few days is because i noticed they're calling for rain like three days this week starting tomorrow and i've been thinking about if i could get this somewhat flattened out by tomorrow i might just plant this whole field in sunflowers and then that gives them time to actually grow and that rain will help them get set in and then once they grow and mature i can take and cut the stalks off with the ground and all those roots would basically rot in the ground and provide uh, fertilizer for next year so just a thought i may or may not do that we'll just have to see how much time i got it's getting pretty hot out right now and it's noon i'm slower than what i used to be pre-cancer so i don't know if i'll be able to get it all done in time to get it planted uh because i have a day job tomorrow too so we'll just have to wait and see one of the things I wanted to show you though was even though this soil was pretty thick and matter of fact the soil so loose the tiller actually had trouble getting traction um, because it was basically just sinking in the soil so what I did was going downhill I had the tines in reverse and going uphill I had the tines moving forward and that helped both directions help it stay under control but one of the things you'll notice is over here you see these like it looks like little turd balls in there like this looks like cat litter but it's not and what that is is that is the clay that got mixed in with this uh soil that come out of the raised beds so what i've done is i've still made this soil where it is you know it's it's not all the way clay but it's not all the way like store-bought soil either so it's about 50 50 and over time this will get better and better as time goes on there was actually less soil over here the closer you get to the fence was less soil you can actually see it's just straight clay right there and but i don't plan on gardening that close to the fence but even if you come over here to the center of the garden you still have the same thing 
where the clay got tore up that allowed all that store-bought soil to mix in with it so kind of my hope is, is that over time I've kind of made like a you know kind of like the perfect soil mixture my biggest complaint with that store-bought soil is that it didn't hold moisture and when you're on a cistern for your water system you just can't be out here watering every day uh, you're gonna run out of water if you're dependent on rain to keep your cistern full and come July or August you're just simply not gonna have any any water and that's when kind of like the gardens need it the most so my biggest complaint from the day I put the raised bed gardens in even though I had a drip irrigation system you can actually see the hoses here of course I take the timer and everything inside over the winter and I didn't bring it back out this year but every one of my beds had drip irrigation in them and actually every one of my orchard beds does too and I just simply can't run it at the times that the orchard and the garden needs it most which is July and August when it gets really dry and then of course September and October we get our torrential downpours and uh, it's not so bad but those two months are kind of like when the garden needs it the most and I just couldn't be out here watering because I would run out of water myself and you know there's places around here that'll hog you water but the last time I had to get water was before I had cancer and I think it was hundred and twenty or hundred and thirty dollars for fifteen hundred gallons and I would hate to see what it costs now with the gas prices the way they are because that's a big old like f750 truck that guy uses with a fifteen hundred gallon water tank on it and uh, I'm sure it will not be cheap this year um, anyways that's kind of like the whole reason why I got rid of the raised beds. I just don't think that they're made for everybody. The other reason too is this store-bought soil does not hold nutrients. Period. Done. There's literally nothing. The nutrients just literally wash through it. So that's been my biggest complaints from day one. And that's why I'm kind of going back to in-ground gardening. Um, you know, the whole reason why I did the raised beds was because of this hard clay kind of see it here i bet you i can't even scratch it with my fingernail Eh, it's a little wet from the last rain we got last week last week still wet um so that's kind of the problem you have and then when it dries out it cracks it'll literally crack so wide that i can stick like my hand like this four fingers all the way up to my wrist down on the ground anyways that's all for now I'm going to go ahead and get back to work, see what I can get done. Thanks for watching.